Hi friends, welcome to another new video. Uh, in our previous video, uh, we did able to build inventory functionality which allow admin to update the inventory. What I mean, let me go back here. Uh, let's go to our management and show inventory, right? Here you can see, uh, we can see the list of the item we have and also the quantity. So if user want to edit the quantity, they can click on edit, right? And you can see it marked with red. That means uh, this is the red zone of the quantity. That means it is going to uh, out of stock soon. So user can update it. Here you can click on edit, right? Click continue. I have a debug point here. Just click on continue. And then here you can see we only have two. So if user want to add more, right? They can add the quantity here. Let's say I'm adding 100 more. So it should be 102. Click on this. You can see it is one or two and then click on uh, save, right? And now you can see we have uh, one or two items for this at aromatic rice. So friend, here you can see we have product name with the same name. So when we are trying to create a new product, uh, what we have to do, we have to check if the product is already there or not. If it is there, then we will not add that product. Uh, we'll ask user to uh, have a different name for the product, right? What I mean, let's go our product list right there. So when we are adding, you can see uh, we are adding multiple product right with the same name so we do not want to allow user to add a multiple product with the same name to protect that uh, if you haven't seen my previous video please do see my previous video where i was uh doing product controller right so here if you go there i do have a product controller right there and then here you can see we have a create function and before we are adding product we are not checking if that product is already existing or not let's say if we want to check uh, we can go ahead and type here first or default you goes to u dot name equal equal product view model dot product dot name okay so now if it is there right we'll go do if condition here not equal to null okay now here what i'm going to do i'll go ahead and copy all this and paste it here okay and then if the product is already there let me make it bigger to be easier for you to read so here you can see what we did we are checking if the product is already existing or not. If not, uh, then we'll create it, create this product right here, okay? Uh, if it is duplicate product, then we will show an alert to user that this product name is already exist in our database. So to do that, what I'll do, I'll put here else. I created temp data right there. Error equal to failed to create a new product because product name already exists in the database. Return view, product view model, okay. And then here you see we are returning to our uh, product create page, but in our product create page, uh, we do have a, let me show you the create page, go to view. And this is the create page, right? And here this is expecting a, drop down drop down about the category right so we cannot send null we have to uh, reload our category list so to do that uh, what i'm going to do here you can see we are storing category list right here so we'll copy this line and then paste it here that should be product view model dot category list so we are reloading it here to send to our view okay that should be comma sorry this should be semicolon so let's go up uh, here you can see uh, we are getting the data from the product database right with the same name if it is there it will store here if it is not there then it will be null so if it is null then we'll go ahead and create a new product but here this condition is not right it should be equal if it is equal null, then we will go in here. If not, then we'll write a message for user saying that this product already exists in the database. 
so let's open product create page so here we can right click on it to go to our uh, product create page okay so here you can see this is our uh, product create page so let's click enter here i'm going to copy the code and paste it here to save our time so let me paste it so here you can see i did paste the code uh, this is our temp data the key is error so if it is not null user will see a display with the error message if it is null then it will not show any display message okay so let me go ahead and stop the project i'll run it again uh, if you haven't seen my previous video on product controller please go and see that video also so then it will be easy for you to understand what we are trying to do here so let me make it a small login to it this is our username and password submit let's go to our product list so this is our product list right you can see we have dry cake and then uh, dry cake so let's go ahead and create a new product with dry cake name to see if it does add to our list or not create i'll put dry cake let's put price for this product select a category dry food have any description if you want let's select a picture purchase price and then quantity okay let's click on create we'll see if it does create the product or not i'll go ahead and click on create so now you can see it is showing the product right there we already have this product so it will not go into here to create the product let's click on continue and now you see our theme data right there it is storing a message for user let's click on continue again and here you can see it said failed to create new product because product name already exists in the database so that means this product didn't get created so let's go to our product list to see if it does create it or not so here you can see our product list actually this product did not get created so now uh, we implement a way to prevent the dupli uh, duplication of product creation okay so now what we are trying to do here you can see we have an inventory right so here you can see my uh, inventory list uh, we just create a dry cake right here you can see there is a 20 item and then there is a uh, dry cake two items right so let me uh, go to our home page again let's see if that product showing over here here you can see so here i'll click add so it did add it here let's go to here so here i'm adding one more quantity one more quantity one more quantity here here you see this is four items is showing actually it's not supposed to show four items because we only have two items available in our inventory if you can see right there the two item only is there so we will also need to prevent this to happen okay so to do that we will go ahead and open our cart controller so if you haven't seen our shopping cart controller please do that uh, watch that video as well so let's this is our cart controller uh, let me make it bigger uh, let's do 120 here okay so now you can see our cart controller here so here you can see the action name is add to cart so we'll go ahead and check the quantity to our uh, inventory list for that item that user want to add into a cart okay so if we see the quantity uh, is bigger than the stock item then we will not add those item okay so uh, here you can see we are updating our cart right so before we are updating our cart we have to check our inventory for that product okay so i'll click enter here i'll type here bar get the inventory equal to underscore db dot inventory equal equal get quantity dot product dot name dot to lower uh, so here what we did we are uh, getting the inventory item here that we are going to add in the cart okay so here uh, what we need to do we need to have a if condition okay if get the inventory not equal null then what we're going to do we'll check if get the inventory 
dot quantity less than get the quantity dot quantity plus one will create a message for user here using tame data i'll copy and paste it here to save time copy and paste it here so what we did uh, we are creating a tame data with the key is out of inventory the order quantity which is get the quantity uh, plus one that means if our cart quantity is already five and then we are adding one more it would be six so it will check uh, it will check if this quantity is uh, bigger than the quantity in the stock so if we, if our stock less than the order quantity right uh, then it will uh, come here right store this message saying that uh, the product is out of stock okay and then it will redirect to our cart index space and then on our index space we'll go ahead and print this message right there okay and after that and if the quantity available what it will do it will go ahead and let me copy this first and we need to paste it under here if the quantity is available it will go ahead and add the add the one more pieces to existing quantity okay and then if we do not have any inventory for this product right so it will go to our else condition okay so here before we adding the item into our card we'll go ahead and check if that item is available in our uh inventory or not right so here you can see we did use this so what we have, we have to do we have to have this outside of this if condition so then it will be available for other uh part of the application okay let me do x i'll put it outside of this okay i'll go ahead and copy this line here paste it here i'm not gonna check the existing card because this is the new item that we are going to add in the chart okay so it will only check if it is bigger than one or not in our stock okay so if it is not then we'll uh, go ahead and uh, write this message for user okay but this message should be different than the other one so here this should be whatever the quantity it is available in our stock okay and return to index and here you see we have another uh, else condition right there we'll also do the same thing over here as well okay and now uh, you can see we have here uh, product id right that uh, we are using to load the product from our database right so this is the product that user want to add in the cart so from here we can also get the product name right so let's go down copy this go to here paste it here just delete these two line so here we have the product name also so we are checking the get inventory and then uh, checking if we need to store a uh, error message or not or we need to add it or not okay so now i uh, will go ahead and run our project i will log in as admin submit uh, so friends this is our home page let's go ahead and add another item to our cart okay let me see what we have uh, let's delete all these. We do not want to have them. Uh, let's go to our product list, create a new product. I'll go ahead and create a product for sunglass. Let's do this one. Price is $20.99. Let's put something like phone item, any description. Uh, choose a picture for sunglass. So this is my picture. I'll put purchase price is $12.99, quantity is two, create. We'll go ahead and check if it did add it to our product list or not. Here you can see it did add it to our product list, but let's check our inventory also. Here we go to our inventory and typing here to see if it did add it here. So here also did add it, you can see with the two quantity. So let's go to our list again. I'll go ahead and click on add, uh, click continue. And uh, now you can see that product got added and it is showing uh, one right there. Okay, uh, let me add it for one more time. Let's do continue. And now you can see it is two. So if our function is working fine 
then uh, it should not uh, add it here. Okay, so what it should do, it should do an alert to user saying that product is out of stock. Okay, so let me click on add here again, and you can see it came here. So let's do continue. So here you can see it is checking the inventory quantity and the quantity that is currently having. So you can see is two. So we are adding for one more time. So two plus one three. So our inventory only have two, but not uh, three pieces. So it will throw a message to user saying that product is out of order. So let's do continue. So friends, you can see the product uh, didn't get added here, but we are not seeing a lot because we have to uh, add the alert in the index card index space. So let's go open your card index space. So here I'll go ahead and paste that code to show an alert. Okay, so this is the code that we are going to oh, show an alert. So here you can see the out of inventory. Uh, let's go to our card controller. Here we have the key for key for this team data is the out of inventory. Okay, let me click save, uh, click refresh. Okay, and now go to home page, come back to your uh, card index space. Let's do click add, and now we'll see the alert here. Okay. Yeah, here you can see the order quantity is three, but the storage we only have two. So that's why user will not able to add one more item. Okay, so this is for card controller. Uh, let's say multiple user, right? Let's say the user A, user B, user C, right? So they are trying to order the sunglass and we only have two, but three user orders are uh, three pieces for this order, but uh, you know, uh, their card is different. So how are we going to prevent this? Uh, we need to prevent this in our order controller. So here we have a order controller, right? Where user submitting uh, this order, right? So here when user submit the order uh, during the check page, uh, the, they are paying, right? So before they paying, uh, we have to check if that order is available or not, right? If the quantity is available or not. If their quantity is not available, they will not make an order. We will go ahead and implement this in our next video.